Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Same hair, same makeup, same onesie. Day four, holiday gift guide. Stocking stuffers, that is what we're talking about today. And yesterday's video was really long with Bath and Body. I did not think I had that much to say about each item, but I'm really proud of those gift ideas that I came up with, and I wanted to share them all with you, so I didn't want to cut any corners. Today we're talking stocking stuffers, and I have a list of, I think, at least 30 items. So we're gonna get started. As always, I'm gonna at least have the, everything for the holiday gift guides, whether they're linked, everything will be listed below. Hopefully I can get them all linked for you guys before I go into labor, but everything will be listed out, okay? So I know I'm not showing you the products, but everything is going to be listed, okay? So the first thing is the Stands Out Beauty Sponge, $20, a little bit more expensive for the stocking, but such a great gift for any makeup lover. So good. You could obviously also get a beauty blender or a Real Technique sponge or an Eco Tool sponge, any sponge, but this one specifically is my favorite beauty sponge I've ever tried in my life. Stands out beauty sponge. It is so, so, so good, and I would highly recommend it. I should have said this before I started this stocking stuffer video, but I like to keep stockings like part practical and part like fun surprises. Like, I don't like to do all practical stockings. My parents like always would, not my parents, I mean Santa. Santa would always in our stockings put um, some practical stuff like toothbrushes and toothpaste and shampoo and we would get you know socks and underwear and things like that but we'd also get some really cute like bonus fun things in there too and so I like to kind of keep it a mixture of the two like I still like to give like shampoo and conditioner and body wash and um, deodorant and like the things that you need but then also throw in some really fun cool unique ideas so that's kind of what I've done with my stocking stuffer list okay so stands out beauty sponge Morphe triple threat set it is the sponge so you, you could do without the stands out beauty sponge if you decide to do this the eye primer and the Morphe continuous continuous setting mist or I think just the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, $10 stocking stuffer, so good. Such a nice thing for any makeup lover. I would absolutely love it. The e.l.f. Hard Defensor Highlighter. I put this in stocking stuffers because it is really affordable. I think it's $10 or less than, and it really does work on pretty much any skin tone, and I love this, and I think it would be such a cute stocking stuffer. Along with that, Mario Badescu toner, and I would get like the little travel size for the stocking, which I think is seven or eight dollars and they have three different kinds you can buy the trio or you can just buy one and I think it's lavender there's um, a cucumber like chamomile and a rose I think there's a green a pink and a purple one <laughs> basically the green one is my personal favorite it's the cucumber and aloe it's like really hydrating and it smells amazing so I love that one and I get like a little travel size for stockings I think that's a really great idea the Batiste Travel Dry Shampoo. Who does not need dry shampoo and who does not need travel dry shampoo? In the stocking, I wouldn't put a full size because it's like the point of having dry shampoo is like just in case you need it, right? And so I always have like a travel one in my car, in my purse, and I think it's a great time to like restock on that. So I love the brunette one because it doesn't put a white cast in my hair, so it does have that like brown undertone so that I don't have to worry about that and it's really good for on the go. But you could, if you, you're getting it for somebody who has dark hair, I would get the brunette. If not, I would get the regular one. They have so many different fragrances, even in travel, and it's like four or five dollars. So it's really great, low stocking stuffer. Along with that, here are some really basics that I feel like every beauty lover and every woman needs that could go in the stocking and be really good. Micellar water. I like the Garnier one, but I would just get the off brand one because they're literally the same thing and the off brand one is cheaper calming night makeup remover wipes in the Neutrogena brand. I tried the off brand and they burned my eyes. The calming ones are the ones with like the lavender, I think in them and they smell really good and they take off makeup so well, but I would get the Neutrogena brand. If they don't like those, you could get the regular blue ones or you could get the ones from Simple are really good too. But um, micellar water and makeup remover wipes are both really good stocking stuffers. A girl cannot have enough of those, especially one that likes makeup and beauty. Same with that, cotton rounds or cotton pads and sheet masks and eye masks. All of these you can get from the drugstore for like a buck or two and they're really great stocking stuffers. I would love to have tons of sheet masks in my stocking. Like just stock me up for the month, you know, or the next couple months. That would be amazing. I would love to see sheet masks in my stocking. Another little idea that would be cute is one of the $25 Huda Beauty Obsessions eyeshadow palettes 
or one of the mini Natasha Denona palettes. Those would be like such a great little surprise for a beauty lover in a stocking, and I think they're both $25. The Huda Beauty might be $27, but I think the Natasha Denona minis are $25, and I think they're so stinking cute, so cute. Oh, another thing that I love doing in stockings that Santa loves doing in stockings are little gift cards. So you could do little like five or ten dollar Starbucks or Dunkin' gift cards. You could do um, like a Chipotle gift card if they really like Chipotle or Subway or you know a food place that they really like. But I love doing little gift cards um, in stockings or like iTunes is a really good one or Apple Music or whatever it is. Um, I think iTunes is all like the same, right? iTunes gift cards. Um, yeah, just like little gift card, maybe like little Amazon gift card, something like that would be like really cute, a uh, really cute little stocking idea. I always like to do a little gift card in the stocking. So Aveda makes really cute little travel size hand and foot creams, and I think you can get them in a set. I'm sure you can find like a lot of lotions in stocking stuffer type sets, and I would probably like scope that out at Ulta or out at Target and see some of like the body lotion and hand and foot cream um, stocking stuffer like sized things that are like you know ten dollars or less because there are a lot of those and I would put something like that in there. I also really like the idea of doing the crystal of the month subscription. My favorite crystal company for this is called in the enchanted rock the no the why can't I remember the name of it? Why do I want to call it the enchanted garden? Is that a book? No that's a secret garden but it's the enchanted crystal something. What the heck? I literally was subscribed to this for so long. How do I not know the name of it right now? I'm blowing my own mind. Enchanted crystal, yeah, yeah. It's enchanted crystal and they have a crystal of the month. One is like 50, 40 some dollars a month and one is 10 or $12 a month and it's one crystal every month. And I think that would be such a great gift for somebody who likes, you know, like spiritual or um, spiritual things or sage and crystals, somebody who likes that stuff. I think that would be such a, such a good gift. Along with that, bundles of sage and Palo Santo, super cheap and really cute little stocking stuffers, especially if you like take a bundle of sage and some Palo Santo and like tie a little crystal around it. How cute is that for a little homemade stocking stuffer? I like meaningful things, you guys. I don't like to just buy stuff to buy stuff. Like, I want it to matter to the person. I want it to, you know, them to really like it and enjoy it. I don't want to just, like, spend the most money. And so that's kind of where my gift guides come from. I like to really think through what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, not just like, oh, I want to spend the most money on this person. Maybe they'll like it. Maybe they'll hate it. Like, I just don't, I don't buy gifts like that. I don't, I, I like to give meaningful gifts. So um, any way that you can personalize the stocking too, I think is really cool. The Sage Wellness, this is a more expensive stocking stuffer, but the Sage Wellness Pocket Pharmacy, this is one of my favorite things ever for somebody who likes essential oils. This has one for stress release, pain release, one for gut health, um, one for headaches, and um, what's the other one? There's one other one. Cough, for cough. Um, it is like, it's pocket pharmacy spelled with an F, but it's so cute. I think it's $49, so it is more expensive, but it's so cute and little to like throw in a little stocking as a surprise. I love that gift so, so, so much. I think nail polish is a great stocking stuffer. I love KL, K, KL polish. Why did I just say that so weird? KL polishes. I think you could do, you know, one or two little colors in there. They're, they're always having sales. I just bought a bunch when she was doing like 60% off the site, which was insane. Um, so I love KL polishes and I think it's just a little bit different. It like, it's really, really good quality nail polish. And I don't know. I think it's, they have so many good colors. You could pick out some really cute ones. Um, the Kylie Lip Kit and Candy K. You guys know how much I love this. A couple years ago, Santa got them for all of us for Christmas because I loved it so much. I told Santa, I think my sisters would love this too. And all of that, the lip kit was in our stocking. And I think any Kylie lip kit is a really cute little stocking stuffer. That would be a really good idea. Um, I love doing books in the stocking and sometimes I will put books next to the stocking. So some of the ones I love, I've already mentioned, but specifically the Surrender Experiment by Michael Singer and Dare to Lead by Brene Brown. I think those are the two that I had, yeah, those are the two that I had. Um, 
and I just, I like doing books. You could do like for Christmas this year. I know he's not going to watch this video. I got Tim like a book on famous people, like famous sports people, I think, like coaches and um, sportscasters and things like that. Their qu best quotes and pieces of advice about becoming a dad. I thought it was really cool. And it's like, it's kind of like a good, it's like a good bathroom read actually, because you can flip through it and see different quotes from different people. And you can kind of pick and choose like, you know what you want to read or just flip to a random page and it'll be something cool to read so I thought that was a really cool idea for like new moms you could just you could specify the kind of book that you would want to get based on what that person likes and make it a little bit more personal which I love the Morphe Honey Lavender do I still have this I think it's in my empties or I think I threw it away because it is empty but the Morphe Honey Lavender solid shampoo best beauty blender cleanser or you know sponge cleanser brush cleanser it's so 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 good for any makeup lover really affordable I think it's less than ten dollars I want to say it's like seven or eight bucks and it's just so 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 good and it smells good I get the honey lavender but I know there are multiple different fragrances I think and you can literally swirl your brush in them and then get the soap on it and then swirl it like in your hand underwater and it just is it deep cleans the brush and you don't have to have waste like a million paper towels spraying brush cleaner on it or rubbing the brush you know and you don't have to get out shampoo it cleans out really well it doesn't leave any residue it's so good so I love that as a stocking stuffer Oh, every year in our stockings, Santa gets us a new ornament, and it always goes with something that's happened to us or is going to happen to us this year or this past year, and it's always just like really personal, and um, they're really cute, and that's how we've built our ornament collection um, since we were really little kids. So sometimes we get one ornament, sometimes we get two, but I love the collection of ornaments through stockings. So those are always in our stockings. We get a new little ornament every year, and I love that. I, I continue that tradition. I get Tim an ornament every year. And usually I get myself an ornament. Although I think Tim kind of took it over. I think he did get me an ornament last year. But I can't remember which one it was. Yeah. So I love ornaments in the stocking. Ooh, okay. I have this great um, stocking stuffer idea for tea lovers. So Loose Leaf Tea and my favorite company is Tea Source. And they're actually in Minnesota. But they have an online store so you can buy it online. And my favorite is this Montana Gold. It is the perfect winter warming tea. It is, I've never met anybody even my husband, who doesn't like tea, loves this tea. It is like warm cinnamon, chai, spicy, sweet tea. It has like a little sweetness to it, and it's just so warming. Like I'm, I need it right now, actually. I have an obsession with this tea. I love it so much. So I think loose leaf tea and then getting like bags um, to put in, to put the loose leaf tea in for that person if they don't already have them, um, like little filtered bags are like so cheap. Five bucks on Amazon, you can get them for like a hundred. And like some loose leaf tea and those bags are great stocking stuffer for any tea lover. Oh my gosh, I would love it so much. A cute holiday mug or like espresso cup if they're espresso drinkers or coffee drinkers. I think a cute mug is a great stocking stuffer idea and you can find so many at TJ Maxx, you guys. So many at TJ Maxx, so many at Target for like five bucks, 10 bucks, something around there. Ooh, something I got Tim this year that I'm really excited about is the tile, um, the little tile system, which I know you've probably heard of or seen before and I'm kind of late to the bandwagon on this, but it's the like wallet key phone finder and you like put it in your wallet or on your keys or however and you can like it you ping it from your phone and if you lose your phone you press the tile and your phone like beeps it's really cool I got one for Tim for him to try it out because he's kind of always like leaving his phone his keys or his wallet somewhere so I almost got the four pack but it was like fifty dollars and I think it was fourteen for one and I was like let's just try it and see if he likes it and then we can always order more from Amazon that's where I got it but it's a really cool thing for somebody who's constantly little gadget for somebody who like loses their wallet or like misplaces their important like keys wallet phone throughout the house I think it's a really 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 cool idea so it's the the tile system I'll have it linked below for you guys EOS lip balm or any kind of lip balm, whatever the person's like favorite lip balm is, is a great stocking stuffer, always. Fuzzy socks, oh my gosh. Every year I get fuzzy socks in my slipper, in my slippers, yeah. Fuzzy socks in my slippers. Fuzzy socks in my stocking. I also just found the other day, $6 at Target, slipper socks, and I have a pair of them inside. They were 6 
dollars. I bought them for myself and I seriously wanted to buy them for everybody. They had them in different colors and patterns and they were so cheap I couldn't believe it because they have little rubberized bottoms so you can, you're not going to slip on them um, like sometimes you can with fuzzy socks if they don't have those and they're such a cute idea. So if you have a Target near you and you like this idea, I would check it out. They're so affordable, so cute, so many colors and I just like, I love them. They're so furry and cozy. I absolutely love them. And also fuzzy socks obviously are a really, really great, great stocking stuffer. Okay, two more things you guys. This is kind of a bigger one, but a planner or some cute like post-it notes or something for 2019. Um, you know, obviously like we're getting ready for the new year around this time of year too. Like right after Christmas, everybody's like, my new year's resolutions, my new year's goals. So I think a planner, it would be a really cute gift for sure. Um, something like this, I got this at Target. It's like this really cute like pink marble. Oh my gosh, I love it. And I got some like sticky notes and things to, to do list things to go with it. But, and, and you could get cute pens to put in there too. But if you get like a smaller planner and some cute pens to throw in a stocking, I think that's a really good idea. And then my last idea, and this is something that I'm going to be working into our tradition um, this year for the first time ever. It's something new that I want to do with our family. I haven't even told Tim about it yet, but I need to do that. Is I want to start doing like just handwritten notes in our stockings. Just do them from each other. So uh, I just like the idea of having um, just like a meaningful note of gratitude or love or kindness, whether it's your partner or your kids. Um, just, you know, sharing some something with them, something that you love about them, something that you've really enjoyed doing with them that year or a memory or anything that you want to put in like a handwritten note or letter. It doesn't have to be super long. It could even be just a few things that you love about them and you put them put that in a little card and a little piece of paper or you could put it in like a small piece of paper and roll it up and tie a ribbon around it and do like a few of those on top of the stocking. I just think it makes it so meaningful and Christmas is about spending time with friends and family. It's really not about the gifts even though I'm doing all these gift guides for you guys. Um, a big part of like why I want to make them affordable is just to say that it's, it's about the time, the effort, the thought that's put into the gift. It's not even about the gift itself. It's really about the time spent. It's about it being a special time of year to appreciate each other, to love one another, to be kind to one another, to give back. And I think that's a really cool way to bring that into the home, to do handwritten letters or a little note or something in the stocking as well. So that is my gift guide for stocking stuffers, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. It gave you a few ideas for your stocking stuffers, stockings that you're gonna be stuffing. And yeah, if you have any good stocking stuffer ideas or as you're watching these gift guides, if you have any good gift guide ideas for that specific day, like the spa, the palettes, the affordable makeup, all of that, please put it in the comments of that video so that I can see it and check it out. I love to see unique gift ideas. Like I love looking at that kind of stuff. The thing is, is like a lot of the gift guides I feel like I see on YouTube or articles are just like really expensive over the top gifts and they don't lean towards like meaningful in my opinion. And so I wanted to create a different kind of gift guide here. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this. Give it a thumbs up if you are. I love you and I will see you back here for day five of gift guides tomorrow, which is our splurge. That is our luxury day. And there aren't as many things in that gift guide, I don't think. But there's still like a quite a bit. But we're still, we're still on the meaningful train. Don't worry. We have two days left, you guys. We have splurge and we have for baby because we're about to have a baby. And so I've been looking a lot at little kiddo stuff too. And I have some good ideas for you guys. So I love you all and I will see you tomorrow. Mwah.